Hey everybody, how are you on this Monday afternoon? Dion Woods here with the Turquoise Iris. I am so super excited about this piece that I have for, uh, I'm getting ready to do. I, what I have envisioned is one of those things, it's one of those where you get it in your head and you're thinking, I've almost put it off as long as I can because I am a little bit intimidated by the massive size of this piece. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I am. I'm a little bit intimidated by it. So I finally think I've got my game plan down. Um, I'm gonna kind of tell you a little bit about what my, my plan is at this point. Um, just note that if you're gonna follow along, I'm gonna do a little bit each day and I'm gonna go live with you here each day this week. Um, so we're gonna get started on part one today. Um, so if you, you can tell by looking at it that it's absolutely massive. It's about 85, I can't even reach the top of it. Um, and then it's just, it's a stunning piece. So I want this wardrobe to be absolutely spectacular, right? So um, thank you all, hello, the ones that are saying hello to me. I see you, I see you and I appreciate your thumbs up. Um, hi you guys, hi Q. I just want you to, um, to be patient with me because I could very well change my mind as we go along here. But I wanted you guys to um, be able to kind of follow along for a little part one, part two, part three, part four. I will not do the entire thing live only because there will be moments where I will be here at night or I'll be here early morning or I will just want to be alone listening to a podcast or to music. But I'm going to do, um, I know girl, Big Furniture is your favorite, um, Queen Allen, and I'm going to just be honest with you. It's intimidating when I can't push and move it myself. Um, so when I have to get help, that's a sure sign that I'm like, Ooh, oh, 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 um, but listen, I'm excited about this piece. I want it to look Oh, I just, I have a vision. So here's what we're starting with today. Today, we're gonna start with Queen Bee. Um, if you're not familiar with me or what I use, I will always use DIY paint. It's a clay-based paint, and um, it's really good for what I do. It's really good for the blending. Um, I'm gonna use metallics. I'm gonna use different waxes. Um, I'm probably gonna use a turquoise wax with this one that I'm gonna make, um, but I'm gonna start with Queen Bee. Now, you're not gonna see a whole lot of this, but I'm going to put it all in the edges of the flowers down in the creases. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use my um, my French my French Frenchy brush from Paint Pixie. Okay, so see how it's tipped. I'm gonna be doing that all down in these creases. Okay, so we here are some of the colors that I'm gonna be using. All right, we're going warm and sunny first, okay? Even got coral and red out, okay? Then I'm gonna come back in with some sea glass and some old 57, all right? So we're gonna do warm and then I'm gonna grab my turquoises that also have a little bit of a warm feel to them. Um, so I wanna do that with you guys this whole week, that's the big Frenchie. It's the big Frenchie. It's the big one. I have the little Frenchie. And you can see the difference, which I will definitely be using this too because there's so much detail work on this. I'm gonna be highlighting all of it. Yep, that's exactly right, Jennifer. I'm like, ooh. Um, so you can see the difference, about half the size. But today I'm just gonna start with part one and just get into it because I'm tired of putting it off. I've been intimidated by it and we're just gonna get in, we're gonna go for it. Um, I went to this reclaimed salvage place here in Oklahoma City that I had never been to. Um, and you're gonna ask me the name and I'm gonna tell you that it's something like dead people stuff. That's what it's called. And um, hello everybody, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, we're gonna start on part one with this. Um, I think it's called Dead People Stuff and it's downtown in Oklahoma City. Well, Matt and I went there a couple of weeks ago and in the very back they had a couple of pieces that were definitely imported. They were not from here. And their finish, I was like taking pictures of them and studying them because they just had this old world, I've been here 
so much longer than you girl probably they just looked like they've been around a hundred years and so I've just been studying those finishes trying to figure out I wonder how I can kind of duplicate something similar to that and DIY paint allows me to do that because I can layer and rub back and just kind of play around with it and if I don't like it I can spray water on it so all yes it's dead people stuff Anna Marie hi sweetie I met Anna Marie how are you it's dead people stuff Mm -hmm, that's what it's called. Um, this reminds you of the armoire, Beauty and the Beast. Um, you guys that are also with me on YouTube, guys, I'm I'm streaming live on Facebook and on YouTube. So I appreciate you, and I appreciate the thumbs up over here on both of you. I'm just going to get started. I want to highlight all of these pieces right here. And I'm going to start with Queen Bee. Queen Bee is our bright yellow. I'm going to have my water bottle handle, handy. So if you're new here, just remember that we always go through like an ugly duckling stage when I'm working because there were probably with a, a piece this size, we're probably going to have part six, part seven, part eight, part nine. We're going to keep on going. Yep. Yep. That's the name. I'm being serious. That's what it's called outside on the big sign. Dead people stuff. That's the name of the store. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I want at the very end of this makeover, I want this yellow to like sneak through and peek through all the little edges. And so you're going to look at it and you're going to go, you know what? This piece was first yellow before it was any other color. That's what I'm after. And since it's got this tip, it's really good to get in there. Okay, and I'm not going to do this whole gut thing right here, you guys, for you because um, I do not want to bore you your eyes out. I'm just going to kind of work on this door section right here today. Um, and then I'll have to do the rest of the wardrobe to kind of catch it up. Catch, catch you up to speed before I do part two. But I'm going to come back on tomorrow too. Guys, I missed you. I, um, I know I haven't been live very much. I went to a conference Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of last week um, with Jennifer Allwood as the host. And um, met many lovely people in the industry and some not in the industry but still in the creative world. Um, it was a wonderful thing. I had treated myself to it. I've never done anything like that before. Um, spent some quality time with some special friends. Uh, but what, most importantly, I finally met Jennifer Allwood and was able to thank her for making such a big impact on me and my life. Um, guys, if you're at lunch and you don't have time to watch this right now and you want to watch it later, it's best if you just share it on your page and then you, that way it's easy to find. Um, you can go back later and uh, it's easy if you share because then it's like out on your page and rather than searching for it and then you won't forget about it either. So I'm just highlighting down in this little groove on this section first. We're going to start with really warm colors and we're going to finish with some warm shades of blue. Um, I, that's about as far as I've got on my design plan. I've seen lots of photos for inspiration and DIY paint, it's really, um, it drives, it's really porous so the air evaporates really quickly. So it's going to dry really quickly. So I always, always work in sections, okay? Okay, make sure you can see. I'm gonna go right here in this little center section right here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate you. And on YouTube, I appreciate your thumbs up, too. Thank you. I'm going to highlight this middle section. I know I have the camera pretty close, so I know you can't see the entire wardrobe, but it's something to stand up for, let me just tell you. It's something to stand up for and be happy about. I don't have to follow any strict guidelines because this piece is available. It's not a custom or anything, so I can just kind of do what I want to do. So while this section's drying right here, 
I'm going to work on the center here because I know that you can still see that from your angle. Ultimately, I really want one of the main colors on this piece to be yellow. I have not done yellow in a really long time, but I have a very happy rustic china hutch that's in our breakfast area right now that we kept. We did not end up selling. And so Matt and I just really loved the way that it looked. Um, it's got red on it. It's got turquoise on it, and it ends up being a really conversational piece for my guests when they come over. There are several on you on here right now who have seen it in person, I know for sure. Um, so I kind of want to go with that, the happy bold color of the yellow because it's unusual and not many people do it and so I'm ready to do another piece. So when this is over with, my main goal is just to make sure I had a lot of yellow on it. I had in, um, I gave the ladies in my Creative Connection creative group, I gave them a challenge last time to do yellow and it's called like how you do yellow and all of their amazing pieces had yellow on them. And it, they really inspired me to say, okay, my turn, I wanna do it too. Uh, that's right, Jasmine, we've got yellow up in here. So let me do this very bottom section real quick. Remember that we go through the ugly duckling stages. So if you're popping on here and thinking, what is she doing that is hideous? No worries, no worries. But if you could just say something, you know, if you're going to say something, you can keep it really nice. Um, does anybody have any questions? You're loving the yellows right now? Thank you. I am too. Good morning, Gina. All right. I'm going to make sure you can see what I'm, I'm going to work on this section right here. This, see this uh, panel here and while that's drying? And then the next thing I'm going to grab is wax. I'm going to seal it with some clear wax so I don't rub it back at all because I want to make sure that that yellow is really bright poking through all of my different colors that I'm going to be using. Hi, dear. Hi. Someone's, oh, Leela says, I believe in you. Thank you for that. Thank you for just going along and just trusting me. For those of you that are on YouTube right now, you may not know me as well. Thank you for being here and thank you for the thumbs up that you're giving me. I'm using this French tip just so I can really get down in all of the creases and the edges. Um, without even having to press that hard, but it's a great brush by Paint Pixie. And since I'm gonna layer so many different colors on here, you do not have to worry about it being so perfect either. The main thing is just to get it down in those grooves. We're gonna use some metallic paint on here at some point. We're gonna use various colors of waxes. Like I said, I think I'm gonna use a tur I'm gonna make a turquoise wax, um, and I'll be able to use that in some of the area. The hardware is all going to have probably a copper finish on it. Guys, if you're asking me something, I promise I'll go back and look at it after the video. But we'll come back on tomorrow for part two. And I'll try to do it eat a little bit each day so you guys can have that to look forward to. If you are at work, don't worry. Just share it on your page or save it if you're on YouTube so you can go back when you get home from work. I thought about hand painting some flowers on this, but my goodness, it's already so ornate that I just kind of thought I don't really need to hand paint some flowers because I think with all of the textures and all of the detail, um, when are you coming to San Diego to do a project with Debbie from Debbie's Design Diary? I live very close to her. Um, that's a great question. I'm really hoping to come this year before this year is over with. I just don't have a date for you yet. But if you live pretty close, then you should definitely come see me. Guys, if you're confused, I am streaming from YouTube at the same time as I am with Facebook too. Okay, that's all I want to do at this point because that's all you guys can see. I'm going to let this dry really quickly and then I want to put some clear wax over it. Anybody have any questions as I'm going along? Hi, I've never seen you do a piece that didn't come out beautifully. Thank you for saying that, Sharon. All right, 
Um, everybody good? Everybody see everything okay? Let me see if I can move it this way, I think. Even. I want to move you just a little bit over here. Here we go. I feel like you can see a little bit better. My hair looks adorable like that. Erica, you are awesome today. You're my favorite. So, um, a little thing that I want to show you that we're also going to be using. I make a copper. If you are not familiar with DIY, right now, and it's in stock because I placed an order today, um, DIY's Golden Ticket. You can make any color that you want by adding a little bit of paint to it. So, I put it in a separate container. I use just an old container for Golden Ticket. And then I like to put a little marquee. Marquee is red and it's this. So you take this, just like a little tablespoon. Um, yes, I did, Debbie. Just a little tablespoon, okay? And then mix it with a Golden Ticket and then you have this lovely, lovely copper color, which I'm definitely going to use on where my hardware is and my handle and like my key lock here. And I just thought of something that I need and I was gonna ask Matt for. I'm drawing a blank. Yep, all right. Um, so yes, I'm gonna get the clear wax now and I'm still drawing blank on what I was going to do and what I was going to say. If those of you have been waiting around on Golden Ticket to be available, I checked today and it's available on the DIY paint page. I have a link for you if you need one. Um, so I'm going to grab the larger can of the clear and I'm just going to pop the top right here. Um, Karen, right? It's going to be a big piece. It's going to be, I want to make it wow. Okay, let me get my wax brush that I use for clear. Okay, so we're still on part one, but I'm gonna come back tomorrow for part two. But I gotta get the yellow done on all of this. But before I go, I just want you to know that I'm going to take my wax brush for my clear, which is also from Paint Pixie. Um, I'm going to just use a little bit in here and I'm gonna be going over all of the yellow so I can seal it in there because I'm gonna use a lot of water on this project. I'm gonna use a lot of um, rubbing back and wet sanding and I wanna make sure that that yellow stays in the groove. That way at the very end of the project, you're still gonna see all of this yellow down in the groove, okay? So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm just doing it lightly, not very much. And I'm just going to go all over it. It's still a little wet here, guys. I'm going to have to like stop. Otherwise, I'm going to pull all of the paint back off. Um, but that's my plan. And if you're just popping on here, here's a real little reminder about all the colors you're going to see me use. So we've got red, coral, summer crush. Um, and then we're going to finish with some of these warmer turquoises, um, sea glass and old 57. Old 57 is a true old Chevy pickup color. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's got a lot of yellow in it, so it's a warmer tone. Um, I'm not going to put any cool tones on this piece. I want it to stay really warm. Um, do you prefer wax over big top as a sealer? Janice, I prefer big top for paintings and for like a solid finish. I'm going to use wax because when you use wax, you're able to create more colors. So I can use two different colored waxes and end up with four different more, four more colors on my piece of furniture um, because you can do it heavier. You can rub it back. I can put white over brown. I can, there's just so many different things that you can do that I use the wax because it allows me to be a little bit more creative. Now, if I want just a simple, solid, shiny surface like I do on my canvas art, I know what it was, Matthew. I need the charger. I have 10% on my phone. I just couldn't remember what I needed help with. Um, and it's, I think it's in the bedroom. Um, so these two right here are the colors that we're gonna end up here. Now, it's not gonna be that bright, but I'm gonna come back in with some yellow. I don't really know, guys. We're gonna just, 
just roll with it. And again, give me a little bit of grace because we're gonna go through the ugly stage. So before you just write me off as a crazy lunatic, you're gonna say, nope, nope, I'm gonna stick with her because she's gonna figure this out. She's gonna, she's gonna do good. She's gonna make it pretty. Uh, just trust me, you guys. All right, so this is still kind of wet. I'm gonna continue this project going through all of this with the yellow and put wax over all of it and on the sides and then I'll come back tomorrow around the same time for part two. You guys, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to post them right here and if you, um, I'll, I'm gonna scroll back through and just, so if I missed your question, I apologize. I also have a link for you. If you're interested in saying, hey, I need that brush because it's fantastic, then I'll post the link for you. She does this in her sleep, y'all. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, I'm not worried about it, but if you are, that's okay, but I'm not. All right, you guys. Um, someone asked if I cleaned this piece. Oh, absolutely. This piece had been in a garage for a while before I got it picked up. Um, so cleaned, there's no dust, there's nothing on here, and this piece is really old. The wood's pretty raw and dried out. There's no varnish or any kind of, you know, it's it's pretty dried out, so it's good to go. The best thing about DIY paint is that it's a clay-based paint, and if you have not tried it, it will stick. I painted this lamp right here, it's sitting right here, all DIY paint, and it was on the shiniest glass, and my DIY paint sticks perfectly. All right. Thank you, Dinah. You have a great day as well. And you guys have an awesome Monday and I will catch you tomorrow.